Well, I've had a few requests to redo my USB Atari paddle controller for the PC. So I decided to do another build. This time, though, I'm using a 3D printed disc to use inside of the paddle controller for the uh, optical sensor to detect against. Last time I built one of these, I just cut out a cardboard disc and I fastened it inside for the little optical mouse to read off of. This is much nicer. I'll put the file for this little disc, which is on here, actually got a spare one right there, on my Arcade USA Facebook page. I'll, I'll put that file on there. But this wasn't done by me, this was done by a viewer of the show. He sent this to me a long time ago, just never had time to uh, sit down and uh, do another modification. So, with this, you need an optical mouse. I'm going to use a Dell optical mouse. An old Atari paddle controller. This, one's in, this one has seen better days. So it's a good donor for it. So let's open up the, uh, the old paddle controller and get started. Okay, I just took the two screws out the back using a little Phillips screwdriver. Take the back cover off and you can see the back of the pot right there. You notice how it has that little hole right in the middle? That's what this little disc presses into. Just psh, just like that. So you can leave the original pot in there just to hold this. Now I'm going to put a small amount of crazy glue, just a little bit, on this shaft. I don't want to put too much on there because I don't want to get down into the pot and glue the pot. So I'm going to do that next. Get the old crazy glue out. Okay, got a little bit of crazy glue on it. Got it pressed in. It's a nice tight fit. And you can see how the disc turns on the back of the pot now. So that's what this mouse is going to detect, is that surface right there. This is a really nice little uh, modification that that viewer came up with. I wish I could remember his name. I'm sorry, dude, I don't remember your name. But I think it's cool that you 3D printed this. All right, so now let's remove the switch here. Get off of there. Don't need that anymore. Just remember, you're going to need these two wires to hook up to the mouse right hand button here to be the fire button on the emulator and in Stella. And then we just disconnect these two wires right there off the pot and get rid of this harness all together. So let's do that here real quick. Get rid of those two wires. Should have got my snippers out ahead of time, but I didn't. Where are my snippers? There they are. We just go snip and snip. Boop. Just like that. And pop. Got rid of that. So we don't need that harness no more. Get rid of it. Trash. Now we're going up up the little mousey. So now let's get the mousey opened up here. If I remember how to do this here, I think it snaps together. I think. I'm not for sure. I don't remember how I took this thing apart before. Let's see here. I'm going to pause the video while I get this thing apart. Holy free holies. Well, I just discovered that Dell mice are pretty much glued together almost. I had to bust it apart. But it don't matter. I'm going to reuse it anyway. What we're after is this circuit board right here. So here we go, we have our right and left. Right here's our right button we'll be using. And then right there is our optical sensor that's going to be used to put the detect on that little circular plate right there. So now we'll start with the uh, fitting process. Okay, what you want to do is you want to make sure the switch is in place here where you try to fit the guts of this old mouse into it. Now I'll probably put a little spacer right there so the back of this circuit board will be supported like so at an angle. Just like this. There we go. So I'll put a spacer right there to support this. And I'm going to hot glue this in after I solder two wires to my right hand button here to my switch. And then I'm going to hot glue it to keep it in place and then screw it back together. So next Let's go ahead and get my wires ran from this switch to that switch and continue on. Alrighty, a couple pieces of wire here I cut, same length, to go from my switch to my circuit board over there. But first I'm going to pre-solder, pre-tin these tips to make it a little easier to get to adhere to my connections over there. So I'm going to do that here real quick and then we'll move on to the next phase. Alright, let's fasten the wires to my switch here. Oh, I 
of shaky hands. That's why I don't do mod videos very often. Because I'm getting too old and my hands are too shaky. Even at Christmas they're too shaky. There we go. There's that wire. So we'll do the second wire. And then move on to the next step. Next, I attach my two wires to the right-hand switch of this old mouse. Right here is the center of the signal wire. It's outside to the ground, so we'll go from here to the switch and back and to there. So let's affix the wire. All right, there we go. Got the two wires hooked up to my switch. So now we can start putting this all back into the paddle controller. I'm going to use a small piece of foam rubber. It has a self-adhesive back. It has my spacer down here at the bottom. There we go. Awesome. And I want to make sure I get my switch back in. Man, my, my hands shake way too much. I got the shakies. Wait a minute. Did I get that right? No, I don't get that one right. Let's go right out of the way. Try this way. I think that's the way it goes. Yeah, there we go. That's the way it goes. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I gotta flip this over like so. Make sure the wires stay out of the way. You gotta be a contortionist. Put it over here on this side. There we go. Just like so. down below here, below the foam rubber, there we go, getting there, just got to fight it, just got to fight it a little bit, tuck the wires in, there's one wire over here is wanting to fight me. Okay, there we go. So I still got clearance on everything. Looks good. Looks good. So now what I want to do is I want to hot glue this in place. So I'm going to squirt some hot glue right down here. To try to hold this in place. Some down here at the sides. There we go. Good old nasty hot glue. Let that dry, then I'll put some glue at the top. Well, in order to get this Dell circuit board in here, I do a little bit more modifications. I had to trim off a little bit of the switch right here off the edge so the circuit board will fit down a little bit slower. So I put the backing back on this crazy thing. So let's go ahead and get this thing assembled, and we'll give it a try. All right, put a little bit of hot glue here at the top, some out here on the wires, keep them uh, inside. And last thing I did was I trimmed off all these studs in here so it doesn't press on this circuit board when I put it back together. The hot glue and everything will hold everything in place, so I really didn't need that anymore. So let's put the backing back on now. All right, there it is all assembled back again. Now we're ready to give it a try using Stella on the PC. All right, we're ready to try this out. So let's select Kaboom. Hit the Alt key. All right, let's try left and right here. Oh, check it out. That's awesome. And let's start the game. Cool! Alright! So there you go. Make your own Atari USB paddle 
out of an old mouse, optical mouse, and an old uh, Atari paddle controller. Uh, it depends on what mouse you use, but sometimes you got to do a little bit more modifications depending on what mouse you're going to put inside of here. But at least that little disc thing that was 3D printed, that helps a bunch. That takes a lot of the work out of the modifications I had to do to the first one I did of these. So I really like that 3D printed little optical disc uh, plate you put in here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.